What's up guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 Arkansas State Red Wolves Dynasty and today your number five Arkansas State Red Wolves are at home 9-0 taking on the 1-9 Georgia State Panthers. If you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new to the channel at all hit that subscri subscribe button down below. Yeah we're 9-0. Yes we're number five in the country. Why do I sound a little like I don't know irritated by the fact that you know why should why should I be proud of the fact that I'm number five at nine and zero? I said that's not or disappointed I should say. Why should I be disappointed by that fact? Well, I mean, there's been a lot of in the last Arkansas State dynasty. I know there's I know everybody says just ignore the haters and all that. So you know what? But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta you know fire back, I guess, because you gotta make your point across. This is on Heisman. I am. I played. This game's been out for what four years now, almost. I've you. You get to learn some of the tendencies of the game. I'm just saying, you don't just say, "Oh, I've played this game for four years. I sucked for four straight years." You know, I've played multiple dynasties. I've had Iowa, uh, Ohio, um, had Washington State at one point. I had UAV. I have this one. I've had a lot of dynasties, so to say that this one, you know, and every every dynasty is different, but you guys got to realize I've been playing this game for four almost four years, so you're gonna learn some tips and tricks about this game whether you like it or not, even if on the hardest difficulty. So just getting that out of the way, and if people are upset about me being number five, but they're not upset about being me being 9-0. and Well, I can't really help that. You might as well just take that to the developers and complain to them. Because I can't help that I'm ranked that high. Because look at look at the rest of the top 25 while I bring that up. And we'll see here that <clears throat> there's only a handful of undefeated teams left. Nebraska, USC, Iowa, Virginia Tech, and myself. We got one first place vote. USC is number one in the country. Virginia Tech's got 11 wins. You could debate their number one. Um, but all in all, I mean, we still have a... We haven't really faced anybody either. You know, I mean, yeah, we're 9-0, but we haven't faced a legitimate contender yet for the... Uh, for any sort of, you know, conference champion or, you know, any sort of good team with a winning record or a, tw a top 25 team. We played middle of the road or, you know, cupcake team. Uh, but next week we will be taking on Appalachian State. I'm just saying that's gonna be a great game. I hope you guys are ready for it. See, look at that. Look at this. The strength of schedule. The best team we faced so far was Louisiana Monroe. And we barely beat them by like we beat them by a touchdown. Um, so it's all about strength of schedule. So next year's schedule will be a little bit tougher, I hope, and we can uh, get some games going. We can try and build this team up to a a good contending team for years to come um, plus we got a lot of seniors on this team so kind of helps that we have a lot of experience uh, also Kyle Maxwell up for the Heisman look at that you didn't expect that did you he's he's balling right now he's a he's beasting he deserves it he's he's been killing it look at the last game he had 23 carries for 110 yards he's a beast this guy's good but anyway we're gonna get out with this game here against Georgia State it should be a good one and I hope to see you guys on the field ready for some football. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Georgia State's been really struggling. The losing streak just seemingly continues to grow. And just when they think they find an answer, somebody changes the question. Can they find the right answer in this one? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. the 
snowy fields of Liberty Bank Stadium here in Arkansas State as, wow, another snow game. Like, this is the second straight game where I've presented you guys from NCAA where there's a snow game. Never really thought of that, now did I? Because um, the last game of the NCAA football series is, that I uploaded was the UAB one, and we were playing Nebraska, and that one was in the snow. So there's a lot of uh, snow games going on lately. Then again, it is January, so it does seem kind of fitting depending on where you live. Uh, me being living in the mid in the upper Midwest, I get to see a lot of snow. It's snowing right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, but anyway, enough about my personal life and where I live and all that stuff. But let's get on with this game and look at Kenny Smith making people miss left and right. And he even broke a tackle. He gets 11 yards on that play and a first down. You got to like what Kenny Smith's been doing, man. He's been really efficient. First and 10 here. We got James Morgan in the backfield. We're getting the tight end motion we got some blocks on the right side getting some first downs this is what James Morgan likes to do break tackles and make people pay so that's the thunder here is the lightning the Heisman candidate himself Kyle Maxwell but he really doesn't go anywhere on that play gets a couple of yards that's fine he's a little he's struggling out of the gate though but on second and eight we're gonna hand the football off to Kyle Maxwell again Sometimes you just got to keep feeding the beast and the beast will find his way into the end zone for a touchdown. It's now 7-0. Arkansas State up. Number 5, Arkansas State, I should say. Here's Johnson, though, dropping back, looking over the middle of Tally, down past the 40 to the 44-yard line. And now 2nd and 10 with about 3.5 to go here. Johnson dropping back, looks right side, caught by Lambert, pushed out of bounds after picking up 16. So uh, Georgia State, you know... They're uh, pushing the ball on their first drive. I like it. I like some uh, feistiness out of a team that's 1-9. Uh, but they, they don't really go any further as the defensive line was right there for the sack. So that brings up a third down for us. We get the ball back up to Kenny Smith. We decide to go with the read option. We don't get the first down just yet. And looks like Kenny Smith is hurt on that play. So that could be a cause of concern. Uh, but we do have a good backup. So we, we don't necessarily have to worry. Uh, but it looks like he may be okay. Who knows? But looking at this play, third and ten, we make the stop in the backfield. He loses 11 yards on that play. Oh, my Lord. That is just a bad play. So second and seven. Kenny Smith back in the game after his minor injury. We give it off to Kyle Maxwell as uh, he's going right side. First down. Just like that. Eight yards. That's what he does. He's got the speed to get around the corner against any uh, defense in the Sun Belt. So third and ten. In the shotgun is Kenny Smith dropping back, scrambling to his right, trying to find somebody open, and he gets taken down for a one-yard gain. Luckily, it wasn't a sack, so we at least we got something positive out of it. But it's still our Georgia State ball. They're hanging tough. They're hanging tough. It's almost halftime, too. It's only 7 Uh So they're doing pretty good so far. Lee Lambert, another 13-yard pickup. He's been doing pretty good so far. Two catches, 29 yards. But later on, third and nine with about 2.14 to go. They got their tight end in motion here. Johnson drops back. Looks left side. And it's intercepted by Bush as he's taken down just before uh, the 40-yard line. So now Kyle Maxwell in the handoff off the gut. First down to the 48-yard line. And that's a that's, he's doing good. He's, he's picking up the pace a little bit. Second and four. Handoff to Kyle Maxwell. Makes a guy miss. Another first down. This is what Kyle Maxwell likes to do, man. 12 carries, 54 yards. He had a little bit of a slow start, but he's picking it up. Another carry here by Kenny Smith. Gets the first down, 5 yards. Hey, we'll take that. But Kyle Maxwell is down and out for the count, it looks like. But no fear, says James Morgan. Because James Morgan is the thunder. And I like a little bit of thunder when I run the football. 13 yards on that one. And another fresh set. So, again, Kenny Smith. Oi, where was that? I have no idea. Oh, my God, that play broke down so easily. But later on, it's third and seven. Kenny Smith has some time scrambling to his right. He can outrun them all. Uh, but the defense right there again. playing some. Georgia State's playing some really good defense this game. I'm actually really surprised. But we end up settling for a field goal. Now 10-0. We're, we're shutting them out so far. But it's definitely far from over. It's definitely not a blowout. Uh, defense is just playing well. The offense, 
left to be desired. But we'll see if we pick it up in here in the second half. Lee Lambert, another catch, another first down. First and ten. Georgia State just put up a fight, actually. It's 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 interesting. They don't have any points, but they have been sort of efficient on offense. It, it's not like they've been going three and out each time. They've been getting first downs, just not finishing off drives. Uh, so we'll see how that goes here. They do get a handoff right here to Wood. He breaks a couple of tackles. Could have got stopped in the backfield, but he keeps breaking tackles. Gets 12 yards on that one and a first down. So third down and two. Let's see if we can make it a stop here to keep the shutout intact. Well, that looks like it's not going to quite happen as uh, that one is going to be a first down and goal. Or is it? First and a foul face mask on the defense. Oh, that, that hurts. But first and goal from the one. Let's see if we can make a goal line stand here. Uh, well, no. Well, uh, uh, yeah, no. Okay, we tried, but we failed. So it's now 10-7. Georgia State keeping it close. But this is Arkansas State. We will not go down without a fight. 12 yards, first down, on the ground. That's what we do best. We run the football. And that is, like, our MO. That's literally what we do. We do not, we hardly pass. If we pass... It, it, it's gonna be like like taking a risk downfield you, you're better off just when you have three solid runners on your team especially with one like this Kenny Smith touchdown Arkansas State now 17-7 as we're nearing the fourth quarter so here we go Georgia State with the ball looks right side overthrown ouch see Antoine Antoine Johnson's doing a pretty good job completion percentage wise but he hasn't been throwing the ball deep downfield and that could come back to haunt him. James Morgan, the thunder of the group, breaking tackles, stumbling down for a 23-yard pickup. This is what James Morgan likes to do, man. Get him in open space and just let him just let him run you over. Handoffs again to James Morgan. Right side, finds the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State, 24-7. James Morgan with another one. He's been, like I said, phenomenal this game. Johnson again, trying to go up the middle with the first down. And he's going to get it, but he's got some room to run, and he's going to be taken out at the, about the 13-yard line. So third down and nine from the 12 in the shotgun, looking for a pass. Has some time, steps to his right, then steps back to his left, and it's incomplete. Colton Cook with the deflection, but they're going to go for it on fourth down because let's take a risk. Why not with this much time left in the game? Antoine Johnson steps back, looks, takes the sack, and it's pretty much like dead meat at that point. Uh, because there's no way they would have scored if they picked up the ball. So it's pretty much like a dead play. So Kenny Smith going deep on this play to Lorenzo Harrison for a 24-yard pickup and a first down. So later on, second and one with about 3.45 to go here. We're going to hand it off to James Morgan, and he's making a few guys miss. Seven yards on that one, another first down. He's got 87 yards on the day. Just a lot of good runners on this team, man. I'm telling you. When you have three heads that know how to run the ball on this team, it, it makes your team very dangerous. It really does. And th this is what makes this team so special is that you can you can run with the Thunder. You can run with the Lightning. You can run with the quarterback even. You can run with Kenny the Jet Smith and just cr do crazy things with it. So James Morgan's over 100 yards receiving. That's really not all that surprising. But we haven't even gotten a touchdown pass yet. But who cares about that stat, right? When you, when you got rushing totals like we do. Kenny Smith, another rushing touchdown. And final score, guys. That's pretty much the end of the game. Final score, Arkansas State, 31. And Georgia uh, Georgia State, 7. It was 10-7 to 7 at one point. And then we just came out and dominated the rest of the game. Oh, man. It took a while for our offense to get going. But you know what? Hey, it's better late than never. We came out with a solid win. Next week, we're going to be on the road taking on Appalachian State. Should be a good one, guys. That game is going to be phenomenal. And I cannot wait to present it to you guys because it's it, it's it's going to be legitimately probably the best game you're going to see from this dynasty so far. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, drop a like. Thumbs it up. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. And, you know, hit that subscribe button if you're new. If you're new to this channel at all, I'm... I'm be more than happy to have you. Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm out. Peace.